Okay, so we're going to go to this shape here, and of course, that's the shape's got five sides, yes? We're going to call it a pentagon, okay? Um, it could be regular. I don't know if these sides are the same in length, okay? We're not sure, but we, so we just call it a pentagon. Number of sides, then, of course, it's got five, right? So the question is, then, how many triangles can you sort of split this up into? And remember, you know, there's lots of ways you could split this up into, into triangles, Okay, but you need to form the triangles from one vertex, okay, from one corner point. So if I go from here, I'm going to connect that to that corner point there, okay, so that will create a triangle, and then I'm going to connect it to that corner point there, okay, and you can see I've got another triangle, another triangle, so I've got three triangles, okay, three triangles, first triangle, second triangle, third triangle, well, we know that's 180, Okay. We also know the other one's 180, and we also know that's 180. When I combine all those angles, okay, um, with the angles here in this triangle and with the angles in this triangle, of course, it will give me the totality of the angles in the pentagon. Okay, so it'll be three lots of 180, which will be 540 degrees. So when I ask for the sum of the interior angles, these angles inside will add up to 540. When we go into the next shape here, well, it's certainly not regular. The sides don't look the same, but it has got six sides, doesn't it? So we call it, what a six-sided shape is called, a hexagon. So the number of triangles here, what can I split it up to? Well, choosing that vertex there, the triangles formed from that vertex. So let's join it to this corner point, to this corner point, and to this corner point. So you can see I've got four triangles there, yeah? Okay, so remember again, right? Um, 180 degrees in each triangle, okay? So the sum of the interior angles of, um, of the whole hexagon will be four lots of 180, yeah? Because that's what we're interested in, the six angles here in the hexagon so it will be the angles from the four triangles so four lots of 180 will be 720 degrees okay so then we can move on and we can keep doing the same thing so we've got here um seven sides okay and the name of that is a heptagon okay so if i go from that corner point Connect it to the other corner points to create triangles. And you'll see here you've got five triangles, okay? So each triangle is worth 180, so five lots of 180 will be uh, 900, okay? And we can keep going. We, you know, we've got here eight sides. Heptagon, no, the heptagon is going to be an octagon, isn't it, of course? Each side. A uh, number of triangles there, well, we, we can check. Okay, but you can see here there's six triangles, so six lots of 180 will be 1,080 degrees. Okay, so that's what the interior angles here add up to in a octagon, okay? So it says then, can you spot a pattern that connects the number of triangles in the shape to the number of sides? Well, if we have a look, go back to the beginning here, look, number of sides is four, you ended up with two triangles. Number of sides, so this one was five, three triangles. Number of sides here was six, four triangles. See the connection there between the number of sides and the number of triangles, okay? Can you see it? Okay, so in the next case here, we've got seven sides and there's five triangles and then eight sides. We end up with six triangles. If you see it, the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides. Okay, so if we have a polygon, okay, with N sides, okay, then there will be N minus two triangles. Okay. There'll always be two less triangles that you can draw. Okay, so however many sides you've got, take two away from it, like we did here, and that will give you how many triangles are in that shape. So then when we look at this here, it says calculate the sum of the interior angles for a 20-sided polygon. Now 20-sided, pretty hard to draw that, isn't it? Okay, it's got 20 sides. 
but you just need to follow the principle that we've just seen before and above, okay? If it's got 20 sides, how many triangles are you gonna be able to fit in there? Okay, so, of course, you follow that pattern there, take away two from it, so it's gonna have 18 triangles. Remember, 18 triangles, okay? Well, each triangle is worth 180 degrees, so the sum, the interior angles, I'm going to be tested here because I haven't got my calculator on me. The sum of the interior angles will be 18 lots of 180. Now, I happen to know that 18 times 18 is 324, so we'll add a zero. So that's what the interior angles add up to in the 20-sided polygon. It's quite a lot, isn't it? 3,240 degrees. Okay. But the general rule, okay, okay, for the sum of the interior angles, all you've got to do is, however many sides it's got, so I suppose it's got n sides, take away two from it, and that result times it by 180, and you'll get your sum of the interior angles.